batallón al hombro. In Bogotá's Bolívar Square, 189 soldiers are given their final send-off by Colombia's army commander. They are embarking on a 10-month mission to the Sinai Peninsula, where peacekeeping forces have been operating since 1979. We are going to be working as observers, as a type of guarantor of the treaty between the Egyptian and Israeli government. We have to observe and report any aggressions between the two countries. Troops from a number of countries, including Australia, the United States, France and Italy, have been serving in Sinai province as part of a multinational force and observer mission. But their work has grown more dangerous with increasing threats from the Islamic extremist group ISIL. To Colombian soldier Arisa, though, fear is not a factor, and he sees his selection to represent his country abroad as an honor, even if it means leaving his two children and other family behind. Well, this brings me a lot of joy because I've been in this organization for 19 years and this is practically a prize for me. I'll come back to retirement. This is one of several training camps in Bogota where a carefully selected group from Colombia's 240,000 Colombian armed soldiers are preparing for missions abroad. And President Juan Manuel Santos has announced an additional 5,000 Colombian soldiers will soon be trained for more international missions. They're part of what the military is calling its army of the future. Depending on a soldier's skills and training, the United Nations will help assign them to missions across Africa and Asia. While we were in the middle of our most difficult times during this world, many allies and many countries help us and gave us their hand. So now that we are very close to get to peace, it is the time in which Colombia will do the same for the international community and for other countries. After 50 years of armed conflict, Colombia's armed forces are prepared for warfare on any terrain. Now they will learn what it takes to maintain peace as part of a multinational mission abroad. Michelle Begay, CCTV, Colombia.